Welcome back to the second part of our Q&A uh, session that we're having on the uh, French Chic Furniture Paint colors. Uh, today we're going to discuss the laser range colors. First of all, what you should know before painting. You should know and what to do. First of all, make sure that your furniture is clean and uh, by that it means that it doesn't have any grease or any other products on it and it, that is simply by washing with sugar soap then if you have a previously painted piece of furniture and it has wax on it or any other product um, you should sand lightly if there is flaking paint, of course, you uh, would need to remove that. So, what about the laser range? Why it's called the laser range? Basically, it is um, no worry paint. And you can use it on anything inside your house, including even kitchens. So, um, the laser range is called laser range because basically it is a self-priming and a self-sealing paint. So you don't need to prime before and you don't need to seal afterwards. It dries within an hour. So the second coat, you can give it um, an hour afterwards. And basically that's it. Then you let it cure for a period of three weeks. Curing time, as we always say, is just that period where the water in the paint evaporates and the paint um, the paint job you, you, you would have done will be scrubbable and cleanable and uh, basically that's it so let's go round all the laser range colors we have at the moment de la crème. Fire. 
Então, vamos lá. Wedding cake. So, as you have seen, um, these are the colors in the laser range. So, here I have the creme de la creme. And if you notice, on this side, it's a little bit darker. That is because this part was done with browning wax. Any color you would want to change a little bit the tone, you can use um, any of the waxes uh, the French Chic furniture paint have. Basically, they are the browning wax, uh, the defining wax, and the white wax uh, to create some effects. But if you want this side of the color, you need nothing. So, here we have some mix and match. For example, we have these colors here, which are on the beiges. As you can see, with the funky Dora is the darkest, which is a brownish, a very light brown, beautiful color. And the lightest is the creme de la creme. And these other two are the in-between. Then where we have the blues, we have the darkest, which is the horn blower. Then we have the newest addition, which is the moody blue, scotch mist and crystal blue. Then you can see that the scotch mist goes with the greens as well and this is eye candy and then we have these three shades of colors basically this is the, the, the plum pudding the love letter and the nougat which you can mix and blend uh, together if you want a nice little piece of furniture Especially if it's a ladies' room or a girls' room. These are very nice colors indeed. We have the mustard as well. Which can go with, for example, the plum pudding, the horn blower, or any other color you decide. The whites. Here you can see... A little bit of difference this is the whitey white which is whiter than this one which is the wedding cake these are two beautiful whites you can find in the laser range and then we have the shades of gray so the, the black one is loof then we have spitfire in the middle and wolf whistle is the lightest gray in the french chic ranges in the next episode, we will be seeing uh, as well the uh, the artisan range, which is the proper uh, original chalk paint by French Chic. Uh, we have uh, quite a few colors to show you there. And then we mix and match all colors together to get a little bit more of an idea how we can decorate our house with uh, simple color codes and ideas which is called basically the rule of three. So, if we have a wall that looks like this, we can put furniture which is this color and we can match it with this color. But if we want a bolder color, color it can go with this one. So, remove these. And you can see how pretty they look together. And if we want to go on neutrals, then we have this gray. And we have 
funky door here. And then if we want to pop a little bit more color, we have Nuga here. And also hot as mustard. These would be all light colors, but if we want a darker color, then we can go, for example, with the horn blower. So that's it for today. These are the laser range colors. You'll see them all together at the end of, uh, after I stop talking. Um, see you next week. Thank you very much for following us and uh, thank you as well for your subscription and your contribution in queries, um, suggestions or anything you want us to, to show you how to do or ho how to prepare uh, in our uh, YouTube episodes, obviously, at Rescoli by Carlo. Thank you very much.